Fora TV. The world is thinking. Um, also, just uh, uh, some very easy questions for you um, as a seminal writer on uh, stories relating to Bin Laden. Where is he? Where is Osama? <laughs> what is he up to? And when will he be caught? <laughs> well, I, I uh, was in a similar role to yours with the uh, head of Afghan intelligence a uh, year ago, and I asked him the same question. And he said, if I knew that, don't you think I'd collect the $25 million myself? <laughs> but um, I think he's almost certainly in Pakistan. Um, what he's up to is transparent because he continues to make and distribute video and audio tapes in which he describes, attempts to describe his own role as the narrator of a war that he imagines himself leading. And uh, what he's up to as an operator is less clear, but Al Qaeda, the organization that he continues to head, has reconstituted itself along the Afghan border and is carrying out violent conspiracies in Europe, uh, most significant of which is. Uh, being described right now and on trial in Britain, the, the attempt to blow up planes over the Atlantic. This was the conspiracy that led to us not being able to take our toothpaste on carry-ons anymore. And uh, as I presume Osama has a role in those um, plots, but probably isn't the, the main sort of mechanic or organizer. I have this, uh, as to exactly where he is, I, I, I would do this, we have this sort of parlor game with other Al-Qaeda nerds, as I prefer to uh, call us, uh, where suppose somebody comes in right now and says he's been caught or he's been killed, but doesn't tell you, but you say, okay, don't tell me where. And then you put a map up on the wall and everybody takes a pin and closest to the hole wins. You know, put, where would you put your pin is the question. And I would put my pin, I think, uh, although I've been argued out of one or two places within about 100 miles of each other, uh, one would be a town called Miran Shah in North Waziristan, and the other is an adjacent, adjacent uh, federally administered tribal area called Bajor. Uh, you can make a case for both of them. Most of the people I know who know what they're talking about say they'd put their pin in one of those two places. doesn't mean he's there, but that's, I think, where the best evidence is. Finally, will he be caught? I, I wrote a piece uh, over the weekend in the LA Times arguing not that he will be caught or trying to predict such a thing, which is impossible to forecast, but just arguing that it's more likely that he'll be caught in the next year or two than at any time since December 2001. And the reason is that his popularity in Pakistan has declined dramatically over the last uh, year or so because he's seen as inspiring a local campaign of suicide bombings uh, that Pakistanis are rejecting. And so his approval rating, as measured by reliable polling, has really collapsed. These hunts of similar fugitives in Pakistan have almost always ended when somebody drops a dime on the fugitive in order to pick up the reward money or to achieve some other goal. So now that seems more likely. And also, for more complicated reasons that I won't dwell upon, I think the new democratic government in Pakistan has a better motivational set to actually find him than the authoritarian government before them, led by President Musharraf.